без законной власти. Но услышал Господь наши молитвы и простил нам грешным. Я тебе сай! В Москву пойдем. Законную царицу на трон сажать. Назад пути нет. Меня Андрей зовут. Я русским родился, русскими умру. Отдать ее Ефа! Стоять! До края Русь дошла. До самого... Мама, Алло, папа любила. Я тебе помогу. Католичеству. Поженимся. Царицей станешь. Ф, проженить бы не было уговора. Ляхи! Ляхи! Ждали обозу, дождались навозу. тот, кто умеет ждать. Welcome again, War Band fans and friends far and wide. We're going to play some more Fire and Sword, but we're going to have a look at Satati's visual and historical mod. And I found his mod years ago when he first started working on it, and I played it a little bit, very, very little. I haven't played very much of Fire and Sword. And I have started modding a little bit of this, but just very little um, graphics and some music. But I wanted to have a look. with you all and what this has to offer. It has to offer quite a bit. Infantry and cavalry officers automatically generated for the Lord's armies. All kinds of goodies in here. Custom faces you can put in there, we all know that. He took the spearmen out. So he's very focused on historical accuracy. And I admire that very much. Nitpicking small details you wouldn't even recognize. That's my cup of tea. For example, Polish king got Western style guards of castles, no, no, those don't. He's being very thorough with very even minor historical details, and that's awesome. I think that's awesome. Man after my own heart. Right on. Castles fit more to the reality, at least their impression, new village scenes, right on. Immersion improvements, new items, Polish Dragoon uniforms, buff coats with cuirass. I wanted to have a look at this, all this stuff, because I was impressed, and so I thought I would share. So much to play in so little time. I thought I would share how I was spending my time. Reworked uniforms. I, I've already had a look at all the textures. I um, added my own some of my own menus and some of my own stuff, but I also did some custom stuff for, for his mod, which you'll see. So if you do download this mod, so graphically some of the UI and menus and things like that, and the music will sound different. Um, the font will be different, just some uh, cosmetic and audio stuff I did, just a little bit. But I stayed in the theme with this mod. Scott units, right on, converted from Highland to Lowland Scots. I love that. He's done his homework. Awesome. Excellent. I've already read through this several times, but I thought I would share. It's worth a look if you do indeed want to play this mod. There's so, so many, so many good things here. So I implore you, have a look at this. Have a look at it on the ModDB page. And I do believe I downloaded all of my mods from Nexus. I don't think I got them from, at least I think Satati's and the Enhanced mod, I'm pretty sure I got from Nexus. And I do believe one of these, one of these mods is, and this is the version that I have, but I believe the version eight mod that I was, Working on from the version 8 of Enhanced, I got from Nexus. 
So I thought I would just, um, thought I would share. Let's have a look. And thanks for joining me. I hope you all had an excellent day. I'm freaking chilling, man. I got waffle fries in there and I got fried chicken. I can smell it. You can smell it. You wish you were here. Holy shit, it's going to be delicious. But I just had to fire this up and play it a little bit before I chowed down. The cats are chilling. They got a fat belly. Let's get in and groove. Awesome. All right. Satati's mod version 1604. And this is what I'm working on. And I started with native. I threw enhanced over it. I took a few things out of that. I added two visual mods. And so we'll see what I can do with that. I'm enjoying it. It's fun. Awesome. But I want to see what he's done with this. I remember when he first started this mod in the Tell Worlds forums years ago, and I was excited. I was like, cool, someone's going to do something for Fire and Sword because it's got so much damn potential. And so, right on, he's done a, as you saw, he's done a ton of stuff. And again, thanks for joining me. Ah, welcome to Warlord's World. Welcome to the shield wall. Hot as fuck out there today. Unbelievable. My garden is overgrown out on my crow's nest up here in my tower of anti-solitude. My big fat funky tree house. I got the garden just overgrown. And so I touched up that load screen. It's a little juicier. But I did make a, a custom menu screen for this mod because it's so cool. Now what he had in here, he had a load screen, he had a um, load screen too, he had like two custom screens. And the rest of the screens and the visuals in here and the menus and that were just right from native. So I, as you can see, I went ahead and um, I went ahead and made a custom menu for this mod. Awesome. I think it looks pretty good. Nod to the mod. So I went ahead and just made a custom menu rather than just throwing my own stuff in. But things like these screens, I juiced them up. It was reading from... It was reading from um, vanilla. And so it had a lot of vanilla screens in there. So I juiced some screens up and some custom screens I had and threw them in here. And went ahead and made this from scratch because it's just a beautiful piece of artwork. Awesome, awesome. And so rock and roll. If you joined me earlier, that was fun. We'll see what we can do with that. I wanted to play Enhanced and I wanted to mod over top of Enhanced because of the really cool extra factions that were added. Scotland, England. Wish it had Norway. That'd be cool. But uh, the Ottomans, etc., etc. So yeah, normal, normal. Cool. Right on. Finish. Awesome. Estonian. Excellent. Sweet. Swedish. Just Western European. Eastern European. Very cool. This texture we're looking at here, I layered that three or four times. Little things that you probably may or may not notice. And if you do, thanks. And one of the reasons I really do that is because of my multiple sclerosis. I can see this better. It's not so bright. My eyes are really sensitive. People with multiple sclerosis are really sensitive to light. And so, yeah, I darken things up a little bit right on. And if you're joining me, thanks for joining me. Finish. That's tempting. Yep. Corellia. That would be different. That'd be really different. That'd be really cool. Estonian, Estonian, Livonian, decisions, decisions, heck, I was going to play uh, Swedish.
So choosing our nationality at the beginning doesn't have any bearing on the game at all, except for what clothing and food it allots us at the beginning when we're creating our hero. So that's the only thing this is going to do is... So should we go in Estonian fashion, man, or finish GQ? Rock and roll, German chic, bitchin'. Yup, or Swedish swank. Yep, just sold in Karelia, right next to Sweden. That's likely who we'll be fighting for. Bread, bread, cheese, apples, cap, village dress. <laughs> get a dress, that's gonna be awesome. I'll get a date day one. Of interest, my friends. From 1611 to 1632, Sweden was ruled by King Gustavus Adolphus, whose military reforms transformed the Swedish army from a peasant militia into an efficient fighting machine, and it might have been the best in Europe. The conquest of Livonia was completed, and some territories were taken from the divided Russian territories in the Treaty of Stolbova. In 1630, the Swedes, including the Finns, those armies marched into Central Europe as Sweden had decided to take part in the great struggle between the Protestant and Catholic forces in Germany and what we know as the Thirty Years' War. The Finnish Light Cavalry, known as the Hakapalitat. After the Peace of Westphalia in 1648, the Swedish Empire is one of the most powerful countries in Europe. And during that war, several important reforms have been made in Finland. From 1637 to 1654, Count Per Raha, and I may be pronouncing that incorrectly, functioned as a general governor of Finland. Many important reforms were made, many towns were founded. His period of administration is generally considered very beneficial to the, develop to the development of Finland. In 1640, Finland's first university, the Academy of Abo, was founded in Turku, and the proposal of Count Per Brahe by Queen Christina of Sweden. In 1642, the entire Bible was published in Finnish. However, the high taxation, continuing wars, and the cold climate, and what we remember as the Little Ice Age, made the imperial era of Sweden, and thus Finland, rather gloomy times for Finnish peasants. From 1655 to 1660, the Northern Wars were fought, taking Finnish soldiers to the battlefields of Livonia, Poland, and Denmark. And in 1676, the political system of Sweden was transformed into an absolute monarchy. I thought I would share. So I think we'll stick with the Swedish name. I remember at one time, 70% of the people in Finland were of Swedish descent wasn't that long ago maybe a hundred years ago we reverse our names we started with some pretty decent stats whoa shice all better <laughs> MS fingers. Awesome, we'll see what we can do with him. I think we'll go ahead and stick with the same look. Good deal. Older Warlord. Good enough. Good enough. Your travels have taken you to a small Cossack village in the outskirts of the wilderness. As you stroll past, the silence is broken by gunshots. See what trouble is afoot. Let's go, go, go. The adventure has begun. Awesome. So the game told us in the um, info and the scrolling in the bottom left, it said we got a dress and a bunch of food. So we're going to wear our moo moo. We're going to beat on him with a turkey leg. It's going to be awesome. Well, before we dive, we're going to try to look at our, uh, our inventory. Welcome to the Fire and Sword. Short tutorial that will guide you through your first steps in the game. Let's begin with the basics. Move your mouse to look around. No. And use W A S D no. for movement. Go to the fence ahead to proceed.
So yeah, we can skip that tutorial. It's a little hokey. I don't. Most of you veteran warband players, you don't need to uh, do the tutorial. Rock and roll. I am of the Clermonts of Languedoc. Our line descends from the famed crusader, the Count Simon de Clermont. Claremont, what happened there? Something significant. Several things I know, but something that struck me just the other day that I was reading about. But unlike my magnificent ancestor, I have neither great titles nor vast lands. I served in the guard of Cardinal Mazarin and was doing well for myself. But then the devil made me his fool, and I challenged a certain D'Artagnan, lieutenant of the Royal Musketeers, to a duel. Fully knowing my skill with rapier and pistol alike, the guileful Gascon thought to avoid the risk and convince the queen that I secretly planned an attempt in the life of the young Louis. Thus, in the night on Duel's Eve, I was forced to flee Paris. And now I am doomed to wander the fields of Europe. What is happening in these lands? And this mod, by the way, is specifically modded. Um, I'll try to explain this. It's specifically modded for just fire and sword, so it doesn't add a whole bunch of new factions like England and France and that sort of thing. Now, at least not from what I've read. So, we shall see. Awesome, awesome. And thanks again for joining me. And now the Tsar marches with the Cossacks, and together they are preparing an attack on the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. Meanwhile, the King of Sweden and the Crimean Khan look on, awaiting the outcome of the coming conflict. That is all I know. If you meet any soldiers on the road, you might learn further news from them. They should know far more than I. So again, we're going to have a lot of little quests to do. We're going to fight for Sweden, but we'll see what's going on. We'll do some exploring, as always. What can you tell me of this area? Tis nothing short of a battlefield between the Swedes, the Poles, the Russians, and the Cossacks. Simple, simple. Good stuff. Good beginner stuff. Awesome, awesome. I love it. I think we all remember reading these goodies. Tell me of... The Kingdom of Sweden. So far remains neutral to both the Muscovites and the Poles, but it keeps a cold eye on the northern lands. No one has any doubt that it shall draw its hands around the throat of whichever nation loses the coming war. The time of troubles has long since passed in Russia. The host of the Tsar is vast and he plans to drive them forth any day now. The Ukraine is allied with Russia. There are rumors that the, Tsar, the Tartars would betray the Cossacks and ally with the Polish Commonwealth instead. So we have all kinds of great stuff that's going to be happening. This is the most amazing state I have ever seen. <laughs> It is a feudal republic comprised of three major groups of peoples, the Poles, the Lithuanians, and the Ruthenians. The nobility is nearly all Polish. All the important decisions, including who is to be king, is determined by their congress, which they call the Sejm. But the Polish gentry is unruly, which leads to constant strife and a divided military. Unless they make up their minds and come forth in unity and strength, soon they will be conquered by their autocrat neighbors. The Cossacks fight for their freedom and dream of one day forging their own state, like the Polish Commonwealth, and just as powerful. These are troubled times, and a mercenary, especially one that has known command, is worth his weight in gold. Start with small jobs. I would also take your time to get accustomed and understand the local affairs. Wipe out some bandits, do some freelance jobs, escort a merchant convoy, or protect a village. After that, you might try enlisting with one of the rulers. You'll earn a reward, maybe and get yourself an estate, which by turns would also bring you some coin. Once you gather some loyal warriors and earn a name for yourself, you might lay siege to a stronghold, throw your backing behind and claim it to the throne, or even start a rebellion yourself. Super. Love the hat.
Thank you, Jacques. Yeah, so I threw ground texture in here. I made this menu here. Did this menu out here in the load screen, but I used the uh, textures from the mod. Awesome, it's gonna be fun. Day one, Volker Fodekissen. I used to have a friend named Volker from Germany. And 30 years ago, we were uh, doing Grateful Dead tour, about 300 concerts in a row. Good dude, Volker, always liked that name. And the map, let's see what we got. Yep, all familiar. Yeah, I threw my ground texture in there. Right on, Bearson, Kingdom of Sweden. Let's see what else we got. Sweden, Konigsberg, no longer belongs to the Teutonic Knights. That's some serious pagan island right there. Nice. Yeah, not so different than the vanilla. I mean, it is different than the vanilla game, but not so different where it's adding a lot of stuff on the map and new factions and stuff. Um, so this is a really great overhaul for the vanilla game. You guys saw all the stuff that he added to this. Look at the windmills, man, bitching. I love it. And I love early game. You know, I'm chilling. I live up here in my freaking treehouse, right? And I have multiple sclerosis and I'm in a wheelchair about 99% of the time. And um, so I like to spend my time doing the small quests and working my way up the levels. Good deal. Yep. Wendon, close enough. Super. I'll change these um, faction colors a little bit. The trees look good. Awesome. And so this is straight up uh, Satati's mod. And like I said, I, I modded my, threw my screens in there. I threw my ground texture in there, my font, my music. I threw all my music in there. It was vanilla music was, was uh, what was playing. There was, there was no music included with this mod. And so I threw my music in there. And what I did is I modded the vanilla music with the really cool fire and sword music that also came with the vanilla game and so i overwrote all of those old war band tunes that we are all so familiar with and i love those old war band tunes i do but these tunes that we're listening to right now are just super and they come with the game and so i overwrote the vanilla ones win-win awesome awesome nice banners kick ass yeah we're gonna have fun I wish we, uh, you know, I'm sitting here thinking, how can I rock and roll this with a little more diplomacy and freelancer? Yeah, it's totally doable. Right on, man. The castles look awesome. I freaking love it. Ah, uh, welcome to high adventure. Now he's telling me to go here and he's telling me to go over here, but I'm not going to listen to him. I'm mean, really gonna. Is he going to send us another quest seeking brave men to run various errands? So yeah, this is still kind of tutorial stuff, I'm guessing, so let's find out. I'll try not to whack the microphone. Awesome, man, nice guy, kick ass. I'm dying to go on a horseback ride. We have the National Stables here in Gettysburg, and the National Stables are located at the Artillery Ridge Campground. And you can go there and go on a horseback ride out on the battlefield. Take a tour. Nice. This village looks kick ass. Look at that. Sweet. So my ancestors came over here about 200 years ago. We're about to have our 200 year anniversary. 
of the sloopers coming over and founding the very first now that track I have to hunt that track down and override it and so I'll, I'll complete all of these tracks so that we will not hear any of this vanilla Mountain Blade Warband music we'll only hear the stuff that came with Fire and Sword and I'll probably use some tracks from uh, Enhanced because he has some nice music in there, some nice Ottoman music and Crimean music in here. And so when we came over in the 1820s and settled and created the very first permanent Norwegian settlement in the United States in the cornfields outside of Chicago, we brought a church with us. No shit. A great big Norwegian stave church. The great big bitchin stave church as you guys see pictures of or maybe you live by or maybe you have visited. And um, we sent it back to Norway recently, maybe 10 years ago, piece by piece. Boy, check him out. You know, I still love the good old war band music. I wanted to leave it in there, right, for uh, nostalgic purposes. He looks bitchin'. And uh, yeah, the other thing that I did is I did over, I did overdo some um, of the boot textures. They were a little bright and saturated for my taste, and so I darkened them up a little bit, add a little more leather to them. Good day, sir. So what's he got going? On? This is just part of the tutorial. It's got to be. May your days be long, Father. Awesome. Put that on a t-shirt. Hmm. Good. We got a buddy point just for saying, hey, shit, give me a hug. Buy your burger, burger. Hello there. Mikay is my name. We are Rus and we are live under the Polish gentry. We have heard say the Russian Tsar wants to regain our lands and has set out to make war with the Polish king. He leads his host to Smolensk, where it has also come that the Cossack Colonel Zolotarenko stands nearby with his army calling all free men to the Zaporozhian host to fight under his banner. And do you have some work for me, something that will give me a chance to swing my saber, win myself some glory, and fill my purse that's a little too empty at the moment? Interesting. A, there is always work for a daring soul such as yourself. Believe it or not, the colonels of the gentry just sit and wait for the Muscovites huddling in their towns, fearing to stick their nose out of the gates. Bunch of bitches. Meanwhile, bandits roam the roads, giving travelers and merchants no peace. That means the king's not doing his job. We cannot even travel to the bazaar. Yes, you can. It's mushrooms everywhere for fear of being overtaken. And to make matters worse, the blasted warlord. Look at this. I told you I was famous. Of Smolensk taxes us so heavily that we have nothing for ourselves. Fucking bastards, man. Line them up against the wall. And we'll shoot to be, we will soon be reduced to starvation. And that starts every damn war in history. Is when people can't feed their kids. I love it. Nice. Check out his threads, man. I want some. Holy hell. Bitchin'. So, we can choose a task or not. So, I wonder if we're going to get a negative buddy point if we do not choose a task. Because I wanted to move on, get to Sweden, start doing our small tasks. Building up some buddy points with villages so we can get some good troops. Um, start building up our mercenary war band. And let our imaginations run wild, bitchin'. Huh, so we're we gonna do finding and wiping out the bandits. We're told what level one? Come on. <laughs> we're gonna die. <clears throat> Persuading the Smolensk warlord to lower the taxes. Yeah, good luck. He'll freaking throw me in the slammer. He'll throw me in the dungeon. The dungeon's under the pooper. I don't wanna go to the dungeon. Bringing some goods. You want some goods? I could bring you some goods. As you well know, Master, he's more of a master than me. He's given me a job, not the other way around. There's war in these lands. Traders no longer pass through the villages with their goods. We must go buy everything at the town market, but our people fear traveling to the town. The road is too dangerous. What's he need? 
Nice. Quest is already written. Good deal. Let's see what he's got. Let's see what we got. Well, we're not going to starve. Shit, yeah, we started out with some good stuff. Nice. Awesome. Hell yeah. That's a bitchin' swab cap, man. 55 damage, 46 accuracy. I couldn't hit a barn with that. The music's a little loud. 18 loads, 18 balls. Simple saber. These swords, man, I noticed these swords, the damage is really low. I'd put those suckers up to 30, and I probably will. That's a 22 chopping damage. That's a 55. 55 what? Up to say, right on. Got the old Sumter boy. That horse looks good, doesn't he? Yeah, these horses are all retextured and everything by the mod maker. Super cool. And so you see the textures in this menu here that we're looking at. I darkened them up. I textured them up. I ran another texture layer on it to give it a little bit of grit. And so that's just the little, little touches that I like to do. And so right on. So where are we sitting? 500 groschen? Head armor 5, body armor a 1. Oh my god, we're going to die. We're in our freaking long johns. And shit, this stuff weighs 10 pounds. you got to be kidding me. Yep. We got some good boots. Right on. Awesome. We don't need any of that jazz. We got plenty of food to eat. Holy shit, all we're doing is carrying food. So let's see what he needs. Three bags of salt. We can do that. They're probably about a thousand apiece. I hope not. Excellent. Yeah, we're going to have fun with this. And so we were playing Enhanced Warlord Edition of Enhanced. My own little edits on that. I did a bunch of stuff to that. And um, I'll be doing a little bit of this and that to this mod here. Yeah, this village looks just super. Sure does. How much dough we got? 500 coin. We need to get some Swedes. Nobody, we need to get up some buddy points. We got our pistol first. Let's get our saber. Right on, we got our horse. Good deal. Let's see if we missed anything. Maybe we could create the uh, Kingdom of Finland. See what happens. Anything could happen. Until your dog brings a stranger's finger home and leaves it in the dog dish. The only one thing can happen. Big trouble. See when we get there. Nice.
see if we get our daily mugging. Check them out. Nice. Yeah, it looks great. These guys look great. Scenes are great. Awesome. Hmm. Okay. We probably uh, can need at least a 150, maybe a 300 renown. <clears throat> I'm curious what we're going to need to become to get a mercenary contract. 50, 100, 150, we'll see. Some time ago, I loaned a considerable sum of money to General Gustav Lohenhaupt, 3,500 groschen to be precise. He was supposed to pay it back within a month. Received a copper from him since. So how are we going to collect that? Collect the debt from him on my behalf. We'll do our best. How about that? We'll do our best. He'll probably run us through. Take everything we got. Throw us in the bottom of the ocean. You know where I can find General Gustav? If you leave now and move quickly, you should be able to find him at the Nian Fortress. I have little doubt that he'll be suitably embarrassed by his conduct and give you all the money he owes. He'll probably cut our throat. He's the king. <laughs> Tell this guy to come to court and pay him. We'll see what happens. Let's find out. I'm curious. The outcomes. You have made me very happy. Well, give me some chicken and pie. Please talk to General Gustav Lowe and don't let him off unless he returns my money. He's probably going to challenge us to a duel for insulting him. You know, we're big fat level one. We're going to be kicking some booty. Yeah, look at these guys. They look super. Yeah, they look great. All right, these guys look good. So that's that. We got a quest. Let's get some more. Let's hit some villages. Talk to the mayor. And now I know we can invest in the bank and we can earn interest. And that's the gig. And set up some caravans. And so we're going to be doing that. You can buy a load of goods here on a discount. Send the caravan to another city where you'll sell the goods for a profit or luck. Profit or a loss, depends on how good a trader you are. Just take some thinking. Do my best. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to take that right now because as soon as I take this quest, the bandits are going to spawn right outside the city and I haven't gotten up any. We don't have a warband yet. We don't even have a squad. We don't even have a freaking buddy. It's just us and our bread and our cool hat. Yeah, so we'll have to take another time. We'll never find them. I hope he doesn't even get a negative with him, and I hope that he can. If I go grab a bunch of, uh, yeah, I can go grab a bunch of peasants, and we'll see how the peasants stack up. I've heard they're pretty weak. We shall see. 
but again, this is modded. So we'll see how they stack up. Awesome, awesome. Our town's protector is King Gustav. We levy judgments and collect taxes in his name. Let's see what we got in the marketplace. Goodies. Nice. Real lot carbine. Love those targs. Lumberman axe. It's only two pounds. Only does a 28. I may end up bumping up the damages on just about everything. Those damages right there are deadly. And they were. But this thing it chop your skull in two yeah that's saber too right now it's a 22 shit make that a 33 we'll see awesome the freaking grenades look at that 25 20 medium grenades large grenades 32 40 buying price four pounds 175 blunt damage damn 100 100 damage nice awesome awesome rock and roll i can't wait to get a rifle hopefully we can scavenge a bunch of good stuff off the battlefield see how we're doing with the goodies a sturdy village dress yeah old jack boots right on good deal look at that sweet look at that nice yep i don't have the strength do i yeah i have a nine strength that's strange. Yeah, it's got the uh, breastplate and the sash, yeah. And it's a longer like a frock. Cool beans, look at that. Nice. Well done. Oh, going moonwalking right on. Look at those. Good deal. No swords, goody goods, no brew, do we have some brew? No beer. Tavern, how much coin we got, 500? I wonder, I'm curious how much those uh, mercenaries wanted to, for, to be hired. 264 for what, two guys? Light cab. That's half my dough. I think I can hire more peasants, we'll see. So we're gonna go get decapitated by a lord. Yep, because we're gonna try to shake him down for some dough, he owes the king. What a chump. See what kind of position he puts me in? Jeez. We see, we're only here a day. Look what happens. That's all that king shit for you. So I see a place called Ogre. I gotta freaking recruit from there, man. Gotta. Great shirt. Good hat. See guys, they have any salt? We need three bags of salt, right? No salt. Ten coin for two peasants. Just check them out couple militiamen. Look, it's my cousins. Holy shit. Awesome.
So we have infantry marksman cab. Civvies. Civvies and their skivvies. Level three, that's about right. They look super. Yep, they look great. Hell yeah. Eight agility. Oh god, they got no stats at all. Holy shit, they're gonna die. A lot of good that one riding does them. They got better one-handed weapon than I do. They're better at pole arms. Yeah, maybe. Yep, that's a peasant, they got a stick. That's a militiaman, the stick. Keep moving. Awesome. So we get our first two cats, Burger and Burger. Riga. Love to go to Riga for a week. I do a different history tour every day. And eat crazy freaking food. There's some bitchin' museums, man, over in Estonia I'd love to go to. No way, now I'm curious. I'm thinking Queen Christina of Finland? Let's find out. Sarabun. Hello, pub visitor. Your parents named you well, they had high hopes. Oh, dude, I love your pajamas, bro. I fucking you got them at Walmart, didn't you? I got mine at Walmart, too. Mine are Elvis pajamas. Oh, some wine. I might spend the night. Cool. Super, I love it. Right on. Nice little RPG elements, cool. Hello, pub visitor. Greetings, sir. He's a little tipsy. My fists are itching for a fight. Would you perhaps like to measure your strength? What a face you have, friend. Excellent for scarring slow-witted lads. Let us raise our glasses for... in trouble now, huh? For Carl. All right then, drain it to the dregs. Rock and roll. Yep, need to go to the beer store tomorrow and just stay there. Yeah. Samples. Setaboon. I wonder if he's a companion. I got, we gotta talk to freaking Queen Christina. Are you kidding me? Maybe she wants to get her country back. That'd be cool. Oh, she's a claimant. Awesome. Nice. I love the claimant quests. Yep, freelancer and claimant quests. Yeah, this could use a little bit more uh, diplomacy. I wonder if I can I wonder if I could slide some diplomacy in there. I'm not I don't mean yeah, the claimant yeah. The sixth queen of Sweden, the Mr. Volga the mistress of all Goths and Vens. I thought King of Sweden was ruled by King Carl Gustav. I'm the only daughter of King Gustav II, Adolf of Maria Eleanor of Brandenburg. All the estates of Sweden swore to me an oath of allegiance, which I reached one year of age. When I reached one year of age. My multiple sclerosis of mouth. As future queen, I received a splendid education. I mastered seven languages. I have read Aesop, Justinius, Livius, Caesar, Virgilius. She's got a long way to go. 
When I reached 12, I was already quite adept at politics and the art of war. Awesome. Rising to the throne, I chose to remain a virgin, much like the Elizabeth of England. Yeah, my, uh, my daughter knows quite a bit about this woman. And I chose my brother-in-law, Carl Gustavo Falls, as my heir. Yet the treacherous Carl was not content with the natural flow of time and desired to hurry his way to power. I remember a couple of years ago, my daughter's having a long chat with me about Queen Christina. Piqued my interest. After securing the support of the army, he forced me to abdicate. And this after I won the 30-year war and bestowed heretofore unimagined privileges on the nobles, those bastards, line them up against the wall. Off with their heads. I am sure if only I issue a call that Sweden will rally under my hand once more. This sounds great. Yep, the claimant class quest sounds awesome. The thing is we're level one. We just started shit. It's day one. We were just born. We crawled out from freaking under a rock with a crack of lightning. Holy shit. Here we are. And we're finished. Awesome. So yes, we're going to have to pick. We're going to have to... uh keep her in consideration once we level up we start rolling up around level 20 we got a nice army under our belt some decent renown 350 renown we'll get a nice juicy piece of uh, real estate that's just waiting for us to take it it's weekly garrisoned right after a siege yep we would have a long we would have another 30-year war ahead of us probably a 30 month war to uh reclaim her throne and so we'll see what happens that uh has really piqued my interest awesome and she's in the pub chilling in sweden no less nice so she would join our war band and we would continue to go forth on our on our adventures Yep, and the enemy of the the enemy of our enemy would be our friend. Lots to consider. So many cool paths to take. It's unfortunate, I'm aware of the fact that if you do take the deluge quest, there's three quest lines in this that are attached to specific kingdoms. And unfortunately the deluge quest, and this is a spoiler. If you're not interested in hearing it, I'll give you a second to stick your pinkies in your ears after you stick them in your mouth. And then make sure you stick them in your mouth again after you take them out of your ears. But if you take the deluge quest and you complete the quest at the end of the quest, apparently you die. And I've been sitting here all day thinking about how can I mod around that to make the deluge, the end of the deluge quest, just like the other two quests? The I think it's the Black Mace quest. And I've never done any of the quests in this at all. I've, I've barely played it back in the day when it came out. And I have the, I have my Warband stuff on disc and um, Steam and GOG. I prefer offline i don't like to use steam or gog or anything i like to play locally but um when i played it back in the day i didn't i didn't get very far i was likely distracted with 1257 or britain Vault or something and um but rock and roll options 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 win win awesome rock and roll man that's really piqued my interest and she looks awesome look at her hat look at the lace kick ass and I'll tell you what man I'll tell you what look at that she looks awesome fire and sword absolutely has that freaking classic warband charm it does it's got that freaking that warband freaking vibe man it really does that classic warband vibe it's so cool that these games are I, I can't believe they're going to be classic games soon that's weird. I've been playing uh I've been playing video games since the day Pong came out. I think I've been playing video games now for 43 years. Awesome. And I love video games. So where are we going? What are we doing? We got some quests. Let's check out the marketplace, see if they got any salt. 
We should go raid a village and get some salt. Gunpowder. That's on the market. Good deal. I like that. Vodka. Awesome. 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 Yeah, right on. Plus five party morale. Boom, boom, boom. 110 coin. Good deal. What about glassware? Glassware. What about that vodka? That vodka doesn't have any uh, morale bonus. Some fish. Yeah, we're solid. We're good. We got 480 coin. Let's check out the armor. Nice. Look at those. Yeah, that's super. Look at that. And so, uh, Citadi, the mod developer, has made sure that we have cultural items in the cultures where they belong. Thank you, sir. A lot of the stuff that I read in the notes, why I was so impressed about that is he takes a position that I do when I start working on Warband or I start mini modding these mods is to try to make them more historically accurate. Immerse myself in history. I'm a longtime reenactor and living historian here in Gettysburg and, I, and this get, allows me to, this is a time machine. Warband gives you the opportunity in a gaming format that I love and enjoy, first person, third person, overland strategy, etc., etc., on the battlefield. And we can go anywhere we want with Warband, any time period. We can go to Star Wars. We conquered Mandalore. Hardened Village Dress, 171. We're going to try to scavenge stuff. We have to. We only have 400 coin. We need to get some troops. Talk to the mayor town center. Went to the tavern, the fortress. Let's see if there's any lords in the house. Nice rug. We'll find out where Gustav is. He's going to cut our throats because we're a peasant. I am Volko Folikusen. I am General Simon Grundel Helmfeld, a noble of Kingdom of Sweden, the Lord of Riga. If you look at his name really fast, you don't read it slow, just read it really quick, really fast. It looks like it says Simon and Garfunkel. Hello darkness, my old friend. Mm. Glad to see you. Do you have any tasks for me? We can take a letter. Duke Bogoslaw. Bogoslaw. Radzivel. Ah, I'm changing my name. Who should currently be at Slutsk? Oh. Go visit the sluts at Slusk. Shit. Yep, let's go, go, go. Awesome. Love the little quests. I love early game. When I, I have, you know, I have to, um, I have to confess. When I get into warband games and mods and my characters get powerful and I'm ruling a kingdom and I've got a bunch of vassals and I've got vast territory, it gets boring for me. Finish the game, end the game, start all over. Bitchin' models, awesome. Nice, look at the size of those hashish chunks, man. Holy shit. So that is that. Riga, Riga, awesome. I love this area. I sure love to get over to this area before I take a walk on the Rainbow Bridge to drink and fucking fight until the time of Ragnarok up in Valhalla. Especially I like to go visit Skov. I'd like to take a couple days tours of this whole area. Come up here for about a week, go on some historical tours. Lots to see. A lot of freaking awesome history up here. Hell yeah. Cute girls too. Good food. Awesome museums. Lots of good hiking. So, troops, troops, troops. We should have rested. And I'll make sure I find the rest of the um, vanilla warband tunes and overwrite them. Or actually, I'll mod the... Um, 
music file so that it selects these bitchin' tunes that came with Fire and Sword. They're nice and chill. Shout outs to Alpha Trion. Thanks for the kind words when you said that my stuff is zen like. And I am wearing pants today, I am. Segvold. General Arvid, always like that name. Wittenberg of Kingdom of Sweden. Since the new mill was built, the price of flour has dropped. Excellent. My neighbor, that's, that's bad news, I know, but I love the fact that they give us the information. My neighbor was arrested yesterday. What did he do? Nothing much. He just stole a horse. Nice. I dig it. There's a rumor in the village. Nice, nice, nice. It's too bad the stuff wasn't in Warband when Warband came out. You know, I always heard I always heard a lot of people just weren't really interested in Fire and Sword, but I always was. I really was. It's an excellent piece of history, even in its vanilla form. And so thank you, you mod developers who made the mods that I was playing around with today. And thanks for letting me play with your work. And I don't ever put other people's stuff out there for download. Recruit volunteers, awesome, awesome. So what can we get? 20 groschen, two more, right on. I love the artwork. Look at that sketch, that's cool. Quest, quest, we didn't get our mugging. Maybe the elder's gonna mug us. We can get you those cows. Yep. The oldest of crimes and the newest of ways. We can get those cows. So comment below, my friends, how many cattle in any game or mod, and I do mean Warband game, Banner Lord, Mountain Blade, Fire and Sword, don't matter. Viking Conquest, what up, Brit Walda. How many, what's the most cattle you guys have ever raided and had trolling around with you? Tagging along with you, I should say. Because when they're back there mooing and shit and you're trying to sleep, because I have a pasture right out my window between our building here and the mountains. There's a pasture with a bunch of cows. They hate me. They want to eat me. And I got a whole gallon of A1 sauce. We could start to raise a new herd. Let's get those cattle. Eight heads. That's a lot. Shit. So let's get some more volunteers. Three more. Awesome, awesome. So we got some good quests to start out with. Awesome. We gotta find that salt. Did we look at the um Scheiss. Scheissenheimer, holy poop. How long do we have to get that? Probably not long. No specific time frame, at least that we can see. 30 days, we have a month. Deliver the message, collect the debt. We've got three months to collect that debt. <clears throat> it's midnight already. We should have rusted. There should be a castle nearby. Deep night. Some banditos right there, and they're running from us. We should go murder them. Got seven militiamen. We have a patrol right here. Foragers, looters. In the night, I hate fighting the night. You can't see shit. And what I mean is, you can't see shit on the video. Live streams, video, can't ever see anything. What's this then, eh? Shit, he's got a big ass stick. He's walking tall. Buford T. Pusser, hey, you don't scare me. Taste steel. My mate's knives be quite sharp, understand? Give you one chance to hand over everything you've got. 
Shit, wait till he gets in my backpack and he sees there's about 6,000 condoms in there. We won't charge the enemy. Stick with me, kids. I'll make sure you all die. Did that switch to easy? I didn't switch that to easy. I had that on normal. I checked that 10 times, too. Cool. That's good. Campaign AI, I keep it on medium, man, because it's always funky with Warband games. Music's bitchin'. Shit, they got sticks, we're dead. I got a saber and a horse. I hope they don't have guns. Victory, huh? Good deal. Once I uh, once I get a really good gauge on the troops, I, I hate the lights. I hate the bobbles. The bobbles suck on top of the heads. Yeah, I'll turn those off once I get to know the troops a lot better. I always do. I always turn those bobbles off. See that? They're trying to steal our bread. Yeah, it bugged me, because that changed on me earlier, too. When we were playing the other mod, that switched on me once, and it shouldn't have. In any event, love that artwork. Nice, we got a little bit of, little bit of loot. I'll take it. It's a three, what's those boots? A three, we got a five. 21 chopping, stick with my saber. It's got the length. Awesome, what else we got? One, 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 one. Nada, nada. Swing 13. Loot. Hey, you wanna buy a stick? I got sticks for sale. Sticks. This ain't kindling, this is sticks. So we were headed to Slutsk. Everybody likes Slutsk. All the little quests. Yeah, I'm digging this right on. It's still, it's not too far gone from Fire and Sword. Where Enhanced Mod is, it does have a lot more elements where it's, it has evolved past Fire and Sword's um, basic storyline, I should say, historical storyline. It's added elements like Crusaders and Revolutionaries and things like that into it. So it's changed it quite a bit from history, which is great. It's awesome. Um, where this is still with the basic factions of the vanilla Warband Fire and Sword. And I think I'm going to wrap our, up our adventure for the night. Heck, it's rolling around about on midnight. Have a bitchin' moon out there. It's going to be another roasting hot day tomorrow. And I hope you guys liked what you saw. If you haven't ever played 
fire and sword i think you should and have a look at the mods i posted the links in the um information down below and if you tuned in and joined me tonight thanks for joining me for having another look at fire and sword and we're playing some more of this and i'll be rotating all of our playthroughs that we'll we'll be playing so you guys will see different stuff every day if you've been tuning in Wishing you all a safe and successful day ahead tomorrow and stay hydrated if it's hot wherever you are roaming. Keep smiling, my friends. High fives and hugs. And rock and roll warband forever. Have a very, very kind night, all of you warband fans and friends everywhere. I'll see you soon. Warlord, over and out.